Hello and welcome to another ASD Tech Tips video cast. Today's video cast is going to focus on how you can use Google Spreadsheet as um, a possible student response system. I know many of, you, many of you have used clickers and stuff in the past to let students reply. This is going to kind of show you how you can use um, Google Spreadsheet. So I just, go, I just went and launched the Chrome browser and I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to make sure I'm logged into my K-12 account, which I am. In order to create, I'm going to create a spreadsheet. Okay. Once my spreadsheet is created, I'm going to go and I'm going to name it. I might just call this, um, you know, lesson two or whatever, whatever the the topic could be. Now, this is what it looks like. A lot of people use spreadsheets for obviously an Excel replacement, but this is kind of a different way to think of it. So I'm going to set up some predetermined fields. So I'm going to say this is going to be student name. This field, I might say, maybe I'm going to have them do a reading today, and I'm going to have them come up with, um, you know, um, the um, main idea. Maybe um, after the reading, they have to come up with a vocabulary word that stuck out that they need to define. Okay, so the word, actually here, let's do that. Word, and this would be the definition. Okay. Um, maybe they're doing a piece of a grammar work where you have them go through a reading and they need to come up with an adjective from the text. Whatever. You can frame this however you want. If you know that they're going to have to type more than just a sentence or two, you can widen these out and give them more space. So then as the students would come in, obviously I would share this with them. So I would go to um, File Share. And this is where I would enter in the names of my students. Or if I created a group, um, like I sent you in uh, an email last week about how you can create... Google contact groups, I could just put in the, the group name and share with my class that way, giving them editing rights. So what I might do, I might want to set these off, um, so I might bold these and maybe change the size. Okay. And again, I can make this however I want, and definition will obviously be longer. Then as students come to the classroom, I would assign them numbers. So, you know, so-and-so is going to work on in, in row number two, three, and I might just pass out index cards or playing cards, whatnot, and assign them a number. So then as they're working, this whole spreadsheet would be up on the screen, and as students click on these boxes and add in information, the whole class would be able to see it. Instead of having to log in and access a whole clicker system, um, this would be something that was quick. Now, obvious issues with this. Everyone can see everyone's work. Everyone can edit everyone's work. So this is a very public place. This is not something I would host a quiz or anything that would be graded. This would be more of a way to um, just look at a lot of information at once. Um, the neat thing is, though, is that you always can go back and go to file revision history and see what students are doing. Maybe you're noticing that a student's putting in some things and deleting it and putting it in. Maybe it's a good teachable moment to say that, you know what, you just copied the kid above you. Have your own thought process, you know, how, how are you going through this? Or, you know, you can do it yourself and model how you're going to do this. And it's just like a neat way to use Google Spreadsheet. It's a great way for your class to just fill a space full of information digitally, and then they have it. So if this is all about one reading or about a book, they would have the main idea and vocabulary words and definitions and, and main events or however you phrase these column questions. They would then have that in their Google Drive for the rest of the term or as, or as they needed it for te tests and quizzes. So again, this is kind of a different way that you could use Google Spreadsheets outside of the normal Excel-like way to use it because of the live collaborating piece. If you need any help setting this up, please ask myself or one of your uh, local librarians. They'd love to help you as well. Uh, thank you and have a great day.